What is up guys? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I am a security engineer at Datadog. If you're into cybersecurity, cloud security, certifications, college and other stuff like that, then you definitely come to the right place. Today, I am excited to be partnering with Coursera to introduce the newly launched Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. As some of you may know, I am mostly a self-taught cybersecurity professional and a huge advocate for self-development. That's why I'm thrilled to be sharing this opportunity with you guys. So in this video, I will cover everything from what this new program is all about, what you will actually learn from it, who the program might be for, what roles this program is tailored towards, how this program ties into the CompTIA Security Plus, and my recommendations on how to actually approach the program. But before we dive in, I have to say that it's fantastic to see an organization and a tech giant like Google put this level of effort into cybersecurity education. And it just goes to show that the demand for cybersecurity professionals is not going anywhere, at least anytime soon. With the rise in cyber attacks and cyber criminal activities, organizations must continuously protect themselves and people that they serve from cyber-related threats. As a matter of fact, there's never been a better time to get into cybersecurity. So, Let's actually get into the details of this program. From first looks, this program is designed to be very flexible and easy for anyone to go at their own pace. The recommended time frame is about six months at right around seven hours a week, which brings you to about an hour a day, give or take. At a high level, that makes it easy to manage your time and learning expectations and also plan your studying accordingly. So if you're willing to put in more hours than just seven hours, then you can definitely complete this program in less time than six months. Plus, you gain skills in Linux, Python, SIM tools, including Splunk and Google's own Chronicle, Wireshark, TCP Dump, VirusTotal, SQL, IDS systems like Suricata, and so much more. And there are literal hands-on labs for you to work on these different things and build these practical skills. Even as a security engineer, these are all tools that I use on a daily basis in one iteration or another. And getting these skills early in your career through a course like this makes it easier to build and improve as you grow into a cybersecurity professional. Each course in the program includes activities through which you produce artifacts for your professional portfolio that you can share with potential employers. As a new cybersecurity professional, that portfolio is going to be essential to show the skills that you've learned and how you actually applied them. This program is designed for individuals at the beginner level, so no experience at all is required. That's great. This is great for college students transitioning professionals or IT professionals looking to transition into cybersecurity or someone with absolutely no cybersecurity experience, maybe working in a completely different industry, looking to get started building some cybersecurity skills. Furthermore, you can also expect to get exclusive access to career resources upon completion of this program. And these resources include resume review, interview prep, and even career support. What's even better is the fact that you get to connect with over 150 US hiring organizations in Google's employer consortium, which are basically employers with entry-level hiring needs and looking to hire graduates of this program. Starting with the very first course, we have the Foundations of Cybersecurity, which will help you learn core skills and knowledge needed to become a cybersecurity analyst, help you identify security attacks, security ethics, as well as historical attacks, as well as the cybersecurity framework, the NIST cybersecurity framework, which is definitely one that is uh, pretty ubiquitous within the cybersecurity industry. The next course is the Play It Safe course. I think this one is about risk. Risk is definitely a huge part of cybersecurity. So this will go over like various threats, risks, vulnerabilities, go over commonly used SIM tools. So I think this is where they cover Chronicle as well as Splunk, which are two major SIMs in the cybersecurity industry, um, using a playbook to respond to threats, risk, and vulnerabilities. And you will gain skills with incident response playbooks. It's definitely something that uh, is, is used in SOCs for like responding to incidents. Uh, you gain skills in security audits and a bunch of other cool stuff as well. Then the next course is the one about networks. Networking is definitely a fundamental aspect of cybersecurity. So I like that there's definitely an aspect of this that covers like networks, components of networks, how data is sent and received over networks, how to secure a network against intrusion attacks, and how to uh, do some system hardness. So this is definitely really good. It even goes over cloud networks, network security, TCP IP. These are definitely foundational concepts you want to know as a cybersecurity professional. Next, we have Tools of the Trades, one of my favorite. This is about 25 hours long, which makes sense because you're going to be learning about Linux and SQL. Like I said earlier on in the video, SQL is typically 
one that is like overlooked for entry level skills but this is definitely one that uh would make you a very attractive candidate i use sql a lot on my day-to-day -day, even as a security engineer so this is definitely one that you know will help you gain some really really um, high demand skills for a cybersecurity analyst so you learn about bash as well and linux so this is definitely one that you know you want to spend some time in because these are really basic skills that help you across your cybersecurity professional career so uh, definitely if you're going through this definitely spend some time going over this i'm really getting a deep understanding of how to use linux you know, bash as well as sql because it can definitely be greatly helpful in your cybersecurity career all right let's actually go back here and take a look at the next one so the next one is 21 hours with assets threats and vulnerabilities so this goes over vulnerability assessment uh, threat analysis cryptography authentication so helping you just learn how to identify threats analyzing an attack surface for risk and vulnerabilities as well this is definitely like really important as a cybersecurity analyst so you're dealing with a lot of like phishing social engineering malware web-based exploits so like understanding those things are definitely very important if you're going to be working as a cybersecurity analyst next detection and response this is definitely like one of the you know main things that you're doing as a security analyst right so you know intrusion detection systems whether that be log based or host based right or network based right that's definitely a huge part so i think it's you learn about wireshark tcp dump sim tools as well so you learn how to perform queries and investigate an event so this is definitely like getting you hands-on into what you would be doing as a security analyst right how to identify contain eradicate and recover from an incident that's definitely very important I also really, really like that they implement like an actual course for Python. So this is 27 hours <laughs> for Python, but Python is definitely one of the most underrated skills that can really, really, really help you build a very strong career in cybersecurity. So this goes over like, you know, how to use Python for various things, but is geared towards automated cybersecurity tasks. So definitely like, you know, a lot more centered around the course itself. If you're skilled in automation in Python as a cybersecurity professional or analyst, it definitely makes you stand out from many other candidates. So this is definitely one that you definitely want to pay a lot of attention to and really spend some time actually understand how to write code in Python and use it to automate tasks, you know, as it relates to cybersecurity. And finally, 15 hours goes into actually preparing for cybersecurity jobs. So this is one of the most underrated things. And I like that they're actually teaching you on how to prepare for a cybersecurity job. So it's not just about like the technical skills, you know, Python, SQL, Bash, Sim, you know, Splunk, Wireshark, TCP Dump, but they're actually showing you like how to get ready for interviews, how to find and apply for jobs how to engage with the cybersecurity community, which I am always a huge proponent for. Cybersecurity is a community-based field, and if people see that you're engaged with the community, they're more inclined to want to consider you for roles and opportunities, right? So this is definitely really, really underrated, and I really love that this is actually from a cybersecurity professional perspective, from you know, a hiring manager perspective, what am I looking for in a candidate? And they're actually teaching you these skills, right? So I think this is this is this is really, really amazing, right? Like these are things that a lot of other courses don't really go over. And I really love that uh, Google has taken the time to put all of these different things, whether it be technical or soft skills or career readiness, you know, job readiness skills into this course. I think it's like invaluable for anyone who is going to be learning all these things from this course. In total, the course is about 148 hours, which means that a six month time frame is very, very much appropriate for it. Also, graduates of this program can access the CompTIA Security Plus exam and training at a discounted price. The best part about all this is that you can actually try it out for free for seven days by signing up using the link in the description below. That's right. You will have access to top quality cybersecurity training from Google's own experts without spending a dime for seven days. Afterwards, it does go to $49 a month. However, at $49 per month, this is very reasonable and affordable for most people. And if not, there are also options for financial aid if that's going to be necessary. As Google Cloud's CISO Phil Venable said, you can't just wish there were more cybersecurity people. You've got to create them through training. And I think that's exactly what Google is doing through this program. They're actually putting their money where their mouth is. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.